changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. And today I wanna to talk about private label because a lot of people always ask about going into private label. What does it take? How does it work? And what is it just in general? And so I wanna talk about it. It got popular private label from Amazon, but a lot of people sell private label products on every platform, eBay, Shopify, Amazon, uh, their own website, Instagram Direct. Uh, you don't have to just sell it on Amazon, but it got super popular through Amazon because you could package them all up and ship them in, and it was a great way to do it. It still is. So I had to order a private label product uh, just recently. It actually just arrived, and a uh, little backstory. Uh, many people probably don't know this, but in Florida, we have bats, and I live in front of what is a nature preserve. It's called Fish Hawk, um, and it is like a reservation. It's protected. And there are a lot of bats. And so it turns out one of my neighbors, uh, our neighborhood, if you go out at nighttime, you'll see bats around our neighborhood. It's crazy, right? There's nothing wrong with them. In fact, bats eat 1,200 insects, mosquitoes an hour. That's crazy, right? Up to 1,200 an hour. Plus they're good rat control. They're good for vermin. They're actually protected in most states. It might be federal, but they're definitely protected in Florida. You cannot kill them. You cannot poison them, gas them. You can't do anything. You can't trap them. Uh, in your home or your ceiling, whatever, your attic, if they get in there, uh, you can't. You can't even do anything to them during their mating season, which happens to be May through August-ish, May 15th through August. So basically what happens is if you have just a small little crack or a hole, the bats can get up in your attic and then that's a problem. And it's a couple thousand dollars to exterminate them and not kill them, but to have a professional come in and remove them. And, and so a lot of people are like, no way, I'm not paying two, three thousand dollars. They order something called the bat cone. It's a one way, think of it as like a doggy door, but a one way out only. The bats come out if they happen to get in your house, you put it up for a few days. Um, and they're up in the you know the attic area and then they can come out but they can't come back in and then after a few days they're all gone and then you take the back cone down and then you put up the repair, the piece of wood or the mesh or whatever and you seal it up and you're all set. And so that's what I had to do. Our neighbors have been noticing bats between our two houses and so I found a little um, tiny, tiny little hole. I mean, it's, it's not even big in my house. And so we don't hear anything. We haven't noticed anything, but there's apparently could be bats getting up in there. So I'm going to put this up there and make sure it's all good. Um, it's called the bat cone. And so it's about 22 bucks. I think I paid for it off Amazon. Here's how it arrived. Looks simple, right? This is a plastic bag. What the seller has done is this is their own private product with their name on it and they own the trademark. This is what the bat cone is. You can, maybe I can get the camera to focus on it. You can see it says bat cone on it, right? Maybe right there, let me turn it around. There it is, bat cone. Okay, hard to see, but anyways, they stuff their little instruction book in there, pretty cool. This thing probably cost them like two bucks to have made, right? And they sell for 22 or whatever I paid for, 21.99. I don't know. Um, so what they do is they've got their product with the instructions in there. They put it in a plastic bag. The reason they didn't want to put this, the um, ASIN, that's the, identification number, which is right there on it. So what they do is they put it in a little plastic bag. Remember, uh, this plastic bag is not big enough, but if you reach Amazon's uh, dimensions for plastic bags, it must have suffocation warnings on it. This bag is not big enough, so no suffocation needed. So they pop it in the bag, this is at their building, and then they slap this ASIN on it that says bat cone two reusable bat exclusion, and it gives it its little identification. It's like a UPC that they've created, and that's it. And so they drop this into a box, say they have a hundred of them into a box, they tape it up, they send it in Amazon. Now, when it sells, Amazon bangs it into one of these envelopes, and this is how it showed up to my door. In there, taped up, showed up to my door just like this, rip it open, and back home. Now, a lot of people put their uh, ASIN's right on the box. If it's a brand new item, they slap it on the box. Let's say this was inside of some retail packaging. I don't have anything close by with retail packaging, but let's say it was in a retail packaging. Instead of using a plastic bag, they just take this ASIN sticker that you print off from Amazon when you list it, and you stick it onto the box. People do that. Now, what if you're selling like a used book or a used video game? Um, so a lot of people will still stick the stickers onto it. I don't recommend that on a product like that, like a used product. Let's say you're selling a used, uh, camera, right? You don't want to stick the sticker right on it. So what I do is I package it up just like it's going to the customer. I'll bubble wrap it or I'll stick it, whatever. And then I'll use my own packaging. Now on something like this, I get it. This just goes in the box and Amazon can pack it up when it, when it goes out. 
But if I'm selling something like a book or a video game, I like to not stick the sticker on it. You could be selling to a collector, right? So I'll use my own either plastic bag like this and stick it in there or my own little mini, quite not this big, but my own bubble thing. And I won't put the sticker on the item. I'll put the item packaged up ready to go inside of my bubble envelope. And then I'll stick my ASIN right on the bubble envelope. I'll put it in the corner usually or, or down here. And then Amazon opens that box up. They're gonna see 50 envelopes. And when they sell, because the ASIN is there, Amazon can just stick the shipping label on it like they did on um, like they did on this one. And it just sticks on there and then it ships right out. It's already packed up. Now, a lot of people don't like to use their own shipping material for that and I get it, but I would rather use some of my own on certain items uh, to avoid putting a ASIN sticker on a book or a video game that could be collectible. And so that's how private label works. Now, remember, nobody knows what the backhone is or your product with your name on it unless you market it. How did I find this? Well, I went to Google and typed in um, how to remove bats from an attic, how to remove bats from a house, whatever it is, right? And uh, this guy has marketed, he's made YouTube videos, Instagram posts, Facebook, Twitter, he's all over and he sells these on eBay and Amazon. And the more reviews he gets, the higher they go on Google search. And so he's all over the internet constantly marketing these. And because he does that, people are able to find it. They go to Google and they find, you know, his video came up first and whatever his name was, thank you, shout out to Backhone, that said, hey, Backhone exclusion, don't spend $3,000 on an exterminator, stick this up there, you'll be all set, 20 bucks. So uh, of course I naturally go to Amazon, I click on Backcone and you know, I type it in um, and I read the reviews and the reviews were like 3,000 reviews with 2,980 positive five stars. It's fantastic, everybody has luck with this, you stick it up for a few days, you're all set. Um, and so that's how he's able to sell product. When he first came out with these and he put them on Amazon, there's no reviews, no sales history, no YouTube, no marketing, nowhere to find him. And it was just pure luck if someone found him. And so he may have sold one a week or one a month. Now, it, from what I can gather from my research, he sells like 50 of these a day, a thousand bucks a day of bat exclusions. And so that's pretty cool. They're reusable uh, probably a couple times, but long story short, private label takes a lot of advertising and marketing, or you have to pay for Facebook ads or Instagram ads and get it out in front of people. You're not just gonna create a private label product, put it out and people are gonna buy it. So keep that in mind, but that's how it works. You can either bag it up, you can put it in your own packaging, as long as that ASIN is uh, seeable on the packaging when Amazon receives it, whether they pick it up and they see it here, they stick it on their shelf, it sells, they put an envelope, ship it out, or you ship it to them already in an envelope and they see the ASIN sticker on the small bubble. I use a little bubble like that. And, uh, and they scan that and then they ship it out to the customer with the label on it after the fact. So either way you do it is fine. Remember, if the bags are bigger than this, uh, the sizes is on Amazon. This is too small, but they have to have suffocation warnings on any plastic bag. This does not qualify for that. Otherwise you will have your account suspended. So keep that in mind um, and order them as you need them. Pretty cool, he was able to stick the instructions inside, but that is private label. Hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, you can do private label for your own cell phone cases. You can create your own uh, cold cups. You can create your own line of candles. You can create your own back cones. You can create your own selfie sticks. Whatever it is you wanna use and create with your name on it, you can buy. You can use Alibaba, AliExpress. I have tons of videos about private label and wholesale. It's also a part of my uh, training program for the 2020. It, it goes into a little bit of how to use Ali, how to buy private label, how to do it, all that sort of thing. So a little bit deeper talk than what we just chatted about here. So I'll link all that below. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a wonderful week. Uh, make some money. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, or you want to share any information about private label, use the comments as always. And until next time, I appreciate you guys being here. Hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos. And I will see you again the rest of the week.